Today I will be showing you how I made my polystyrene 13 pound ceiling roses look like the real deal. Plaster of Paris. Nobody would know. Keep watching. Join me as I decorate our living space with all things regal and opulent, but on a tight budget. Can it be done? Let's find out. I will be documenting the journey along the way with video clips, tips, reviewing the best gold paint products, other paints, materials, and so much more. Follow my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on full length videos. Right, let's get cracking. Regency living awaits. One need not spend a fortune to live like a king or a queen. Let me show you how. Oh my goodness, the time has come. My seething roses have just arrived. Let's take a look. Okay, so here they are. And let me tell you something. These are not resin. They're not um, plaster of Paris. They are, in fact, polystyrene. I know what you're thinking. Oh my goodness. Polystyrene? That's going to look horrendous. But let me tell you something. Once they've had three coats of paint, and once they're up on the wall, or should I say ceiling, you're not going to know the difference. And they were so, so much cheaper than the, um, th than the resin, like the um, plaster of Paris and stuff. They were like over a hundred pounds each. And, you know, this project is on a budget and I'm not going to, I'm not going to skip and buy something horrendously expensive. So here we are, plaster of Paris, not, this is polystyrene. Now let me show you closer. You can definitely tell the polystyrene. But let me tell you something. When they've had the coat of paint, you're really not going to know. And what I'll do is, I'm gonna show you when I, um, when I paint them, we'll see the before and after, and it might give you some confidence to get some yourself. I paid £13.99 each for these. And I think the postage was like 3 99 or something like that. Got them from Amazon. And then by Deco Fleur. Feel at home. <laughs> so let's give them three coats of paint and we'll see how we go. Emulsion paint, that is. But let me get even closer to give you a total clear idea. You can definitely see it's polystyrene. Now let's see what it's like once, once it's been painted. Okay, so what I've done is, my, sh my new chandeliers, um, I've measured the um, the circumference to the base and it's basically exactly the same size as this that goes around so I can just use this as a guide to cut and I'm just going to use a sharp knife and hopefully it will cut quite um quite cleanly we shall wait and see I'm a bit nervous about doing this I don't want to I don't want to ruin it, to be honest, but you know, it's got to be done. Let's have a go. Okay, so I've gone around in a circle with the knife and now I'm just going to break away sections at a time. It's just so I don't crack any of this. And so far, it's not looking the best, to be honest. I'm hoping once it's painted, it won't look as bad. Oh my God, not easy to do, but Let's crack on. Okay, so I've done the hole and I didn't end up using the knife. I ended up using a Stanley knife instead. It's much better to use a Stanley knife. So don't use a kitchen knife, please. I make the mistakes so you don't have to. Right, let's get a crack in to do number two. Also, before I start, I just want to tell you to put something underneath because you don't want to be using a Stanley knife 
on a um, you know on a really good table you're gonna scratch it so get some cardboard first put it underneath and then you won't be doing any damage to your dining room table okay so with the Stanley knife that has cut a lot better than using the um, kitchen knife see But I think once it's up, you're not going to notice. You're not going to notice a difference. Right. So I had a look in the garden shed. I thought, well, maybe before I put the emulsion on, maybe it's a good idea to give it a prime. And I found some old primer, all-purpose primer, and I've just gave it a first coat, and that's how it's looking. Let me show you the before. See. That's one that's not being primed. And there it is primed. It's looking a lot better, isn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna go and do the other one, let it dry, and if I've got any primer left, I might give it a second coat before I do the emulsion because it seems to be filling in all of the little gaps. The polystyrene, like bubbles, you know. I think once that's on the wall, the ceiling, I should say. Honestly, you're not going to tell at all. And no one's going to be this up close to the ceiling. Can you imagine? It's just going to look really, really nice up. Yeah, let's get a crack in with this one over here. So there we are. First coat with the primer. Done them both. I'm going to let them dry and then I'm going to give it a second coat. And I think it's really, really looking good. I'm really pleased. Day two, coat number two. The polystyrene is really sucking up the moisture. And if I'm being honest, I think it's going to need about four coats. But we shall wait and see anyway. Um, that's how it's looking today. So here we are on day three and I'm about to do a third coat, not with primer, but in fact with emulsion. And I think this is going to be the third and final coat and we shall be done. Okay, so I've done the emulsion on this one. That one's to do next. Can you tell the difference? in colour. Maybe that one looks a little bit whiter, doesn't it? Not much difference really though. So we are nearly complete, thank goodness. Nearly there. Okay, so two coats of primer and two coats of emulsion later, they are done. Looking good. Now let's see them up. These are the old chandeliers with no ceiling roses. So that's the before. Now let's look at the after. And here they are. Chandeliers are up and the polystyrene ceiling roses are up too. And honestly, I don't think you'd know that they were polystyrene. I think they look pretty, pretty, pretty good. Looking good in the hood. Beautiful, absolutely love them. And let's have a look at the other one. Oh, I think I'm really, really happy with those. Honestly, it makes all the difference. For 13 pounds each, my goodness. It's definitely worth it, would you not say? I'm really, really pleased. Chandeliers look really nice as well. Let me um, put the light on and show you what they look like lit. One second. Okay, so here they are lit. Looking good. Let's try this one. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, they look lovely, don't they? 
very, very nice. And I think if I turn this one off, just play with me. Yeah, you can get a good vision of the sparkles. They look lovely. Looks much more nicer in real life, to be honest. So anyway, they are up and they look pretty good. I'm really happy with those. So much more to come. Join me for more interior design and let me show you how to get things cheaper without looking so cheap. Catch you very soon.